Hey y'all, it's Kenny Hogg here. Uh, I'm over here at my mama's trailer. It's Monday and I'm going to be cooking some food. It's uh, cooking chicken day because I like to, well I don't like to cook chicken but I do it because I try to be healthy. You know, rednecks, it's programmed in us to drink a lot of beer and stuff and that's not good for your belly. It's not good for your figure so you kind of got to combat that with some healthy food. So what I do is uh, I cook up uh, some chicken on Monday. And I usually eat the chicken for lunch. Sometimes I eat it for dinner and stuff. But uh, it usually lasts about five days. I I use five chicken breasts. Uh, I get them down at the Tom Thumb. You can get them at your Piggly Wiggly or wherever you get your uh, your your meat. And I'm just going to show you how I cook it up. And uh, you can do whatever you want. I don't give a damn. But uh, here's what I do. So I go to the Tom Thumb and I get this here value pack. It's uh, five chicken breasts. I don't I don't use the dog food in it. That's just where the dog food is right now. Um, but I and I use these here scissors. And it's a kitchen scissors or something. I don't know what they are. Kitchen aid. So I guess they're good for meat and and whatever. And then I so it's gonna be hard to do with one hand. I need me a mount for my camera. I'm just using my phone today. But what I do is I cut this thing here in half. And then I trim all the fat off with my here, my scissors here. Let me see if I can, uh, hmm. I need a cameraman. All right. I don't know if you can see this or not, but here I am. I'm cutting this breast in half. I love chicken. And chicken loves me. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, drop that thing here. Oh, shit. All right, we can cut this fat off right here. Use it on your, uh, you got you a fat thing. Some paper towels where you can put fat. I don't know what you call that. Fat receptacle, that's what I do. I cut the, cut that there side off that. For some reason, one side always has uh, some fat on it or like some gristle or something. Gristle, is that a word? I know it is, I don't know what it means. I cut that off there too. And then you got this big old chunk of fat and weird stuff right here. Now I like to dig that whole thing out. Uh, it might be wasting a little meat. I don't, I don't know. I feel bad always about wasting meat. Any uh, animal that gave its life for my health, you know, I, I appreciate it. And I like to eat all the, you know, make the best of it that I can. Definitely. Use all I can. Don't waste no meat. There's no, no point in doing that. All right, so see, this one's pretty clean right here now. So I go ahead and I do that with all the chicken breasts. And in this pan, I put a little olive oil down. Because I love olive oil. I use this stuff, I don't know. It's just what's here at my mama's trailer. Now, uh, I also, I put this Greek cabinet stuff on, but after it's done. So... Here's what I got here. This uh, Weber stuff, roasted garlic and herb. That's good. It's kicking chicken. That's pretty hardcore. Lowry's is all right. Uh, garlic powder. I usually put a little garlic on there. Sometimes I put chili powder, depending on how I'm feeling. Uh, but once you get all them cut up, you cut them in half, trim all the fat off. I forgot here. I always forget to preheat the damn oven. But I do bake. You want to put it at 395. And start. No, is that right? Convection. Shit. No, I don't want that. I want to bake. This damn thing's too fancy for me. I don't know how to work it. All right. So now it's preheating. When it hits 395, I'll have all my chickens right here in this pan, and it gets crowded. But then I put them in the oven for 25 minutes, and I let them bake. And they're going to season in that olive oil and whatever spices I decide to put on there. And then they're going to be done. Alright, so now through the magic of video, we're going to fast forward. <laughs> Alright, we're back. I want to show you a few more things about the chicken. I got it all cut up. There's my mama's pets. We got Chloe on the right. She's a scared dog. And that's Cricket on the left. She's a bitch ass cat. Oh, and here comes Fancy Pants. There's Fancy. Good morning, Fancy. All right, back to the chicken. 
Okay, I got it all cut up. I put a little layer of this uh, extra virgin olive oil. I mean, just really tight. And I want to, uh, uh, yeah, put a layer on the bottom. Now I'm going to just drizzle some on top. I don't know. I probably shouldn't do this, but I do it anyway because I don't know any better. And now, what do I feel like? I think I'm going to go for some kicking chicken. If I can get the top off. Nope. We're going to skip the kicking chicken because I can't get the top off with one hand. And I'm going to put some roasted uh, garlic and herbs. That's pretty good. Alright. And, uh, yeah, I want a little kick. So I want to put some chili powder. You don't need a lot. Alright. And I like garlic. So, we're going to do some garlic powder. Put a little Italian up in it. All right, and I think that's all I'm gonna do. Sometimes I get crazy and I go overboard and it tastes like ass. So don't don't make your chicken taste like an ass. Okay, now as soon as this is done preheating, we're close. We Got to get to 395. And I'm gonna stick it in the oven for 28 minutes. That's the secret. 28 minutes. Well, let me tell you a little bit about this recipe. Now, uh, as I said, I try to be healthy and I got a friend who has a uh, personal training studio and we kind of trade off, you know, he he keeps me healthy and he, he gives me my diet and, and my workouts and everything and makes sure I do it and in turn I do some marketing for him and I tell people about him because he honestly has changed my life. It's real easy to get stuck in a rut where you're eating crap food and you're drinking beer all the time and you don't want to do nothing, you're not motivated, you don't, you know, you can't get anything accomplished so you don't feel good about yourself. But, uh, you know, I suggest as soon as you got enough money, then get you a personal trainer. Get your body right and it gets your mind right and you can do so much more with your life. And uh, so that's Luke, my buddy Luke. Fleming from the Force by Luke showed me this chicken recipe and uh, like I said I eat it for lunch usually and I eat it for dinner sometimes as soon as it's out of the oven I'll show you how I prepare it all right we're back it's been 28 minutes I pulled that chicken out of the oven look at that doesn't that look tasty mm-hmm yes sir now you can just eat it as you wish when you're done just put a little uh, Tin foil over that, put it in the fridge, keep eating on it every day. When you got enough to fit in like a little plastic bag, then stick the chicken in there, keep putting it in the fridge, and that way you don't have the pan taking up all the room in your fridge. So let me show you what I eat for lunch usually. Uh, I just take one of these pieces of chicken right here. And first I cook me up a potato in the microwave. And then I put the chicken on the plate and that's how I eat it. I mash up the potatoes though with my fork and I put a little hot sauce on it. I like all kinds of hot sauce. Right now I'm eating the tapatio and the Cholula chili garlic. I also like that Louisiana the fuzzies butt burning hot sauce. There's all kinds of good ones. It's fun to, to try them all and see what you like. Uh, that, to cook that potato there I just get this bag of red potatoes from Tom Thumb of course. You just wash it, get you a potato out, and you wash it off in the uh, sink there, and then you stick it on your plate, put it in the microwave for three or four minutes, depending on how big it is. I like to peel them because, you know, potatoes grow on the ground. That means they're dirty because they're covered with dirt. That's kind of gross to me, so I like to peel it off. But that's my lunch usually. Sometimes I, instead of the uh, potatoes, I cook rice. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. If the chicken ain't tasty enough, I put a little of this on everything. Cavender's all-purpose Greek seasoning. And I go to town. It's a quick and easy lunch. After you get your chicken made, you know, you can cook this up or microwave all that up in about five minutes. And it's healthy and fast and cheap. So there you go.
Eat up. Yum.